So, we're coming to the end of 2011 and um, in preparation for next year, our 30th anniversary. Now we're going through the archives mm -hmm. and um, found some really interesting stuff. Tell them, mate. Um, so like here, old brown, browning newspaper from Wednesday the 10th of March 1982, Telegraph and Argus, um, and they were doing a crap, they did, I remember they did crime prevention features, yeah. that's what they called it, and they got all alarm companies to, um, to advertise. All the old uh, competitors all gone. And there we are, Keyberry. Yeah. Burger alarms tailored to suit your home and business. We specialise in protecting your property. Free quotations without obligation. Some things never change. Some things never change. And here we've got people like Amico. They don't exist anymore. It's curious, isn't it? UK became modern, brought out, gone. Um, alarm centre, they sold out a long time ago. Yeah. Um, so, quite yeah. a few things there, but it was the, crime, the Telegraph and Argus crime prevention feature. What date? March the 10th, 1982. Yeah, first venture into market. Yeah, it probably won actually. Um, Round about that time, looking at these pictures, um, this house here was... Uh, I, re I remember this because we had them on displays. That's right. Like yeah. stood at yeah, Morrison's yeah. and Macro. And well, this was job number four <laughs> in Leeds, uh, Wortley. And uh, you were a baker with this chap, and this was his house, nice house. Um, job four. So we went, four. so we started and you did. Job, job one and you went, we went sequentially. Ah, well I've seen, I've seen uh, a picture of job, oh there it is. Job number one. High Street News. High Street News in Coinsbury. Mm. Um, and because the, 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 the company name Keybury came about because I lived in Coinsbury at the time. And um, security, key security lock and bury from Queensbury. Yeah, I've told people this over the years because a lot of people say, well, how's Frank Keyberry or uh, where did you get the name from? <laughs> All that sort of thing. Well, um, and, th and this newspaper shop were in Queensbury. Um, well. When I first started, I walked up and down the high street. Knocking on doors. Knocking on doors, asking them if they wanted to buy an alarm. And this chap said, yes. I remember it very well. Um, and then, of course, uh, I was still pretty green and thought newspaper advertising might be good. They must have done a deal though because <laughs> this is the Bradford Star the day after that one, March the 11th. Yeah, and that same owners, aren't they? Uh, 1982. And there's every man and his dog advertising all sorts of things here, uh, including Keybury, Burger Alarms. Yeah. Same ad, tailored to suit your home or business, that is it. Yeah, well, you see, you have to, as you say, green as grass when we started out, and um, this is how you decide that new newspaper advertising for us yeah, it didn't work. Isn't, isn't your best return on investment. Oh, well, you may see that it took a while to... <laughs> I'm going to say by all these cuttings. <laughs> Took a while for the This is April 1982, the Shipley Target. Oh. Now this, this is where... Unforgettable Ashley Mills. Um, we did quite a bit of work for Ashley Mills, who had an old mill in Shipley, and they sold basically junk out of boxes. <laughs> Can you say that? Um, uh, bedding and all sorts of rubbish. I remember he gave me a pair of overalls which he was selling these overalls, they were bright orange these overalls and uh, it said medium and I put them on and uh, you know on um, 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 Star Wars, Chewbacca <laughs> <laughs> well they'd have been too big for him <laughs> they were from Cooper <laughs> well they were from Cooper yeah. but they would have still been too big for him they were massive with these things they were obviously just junk that he got 
This is so. This so, is so. We're then but, but we did an exhibition in the. There were three halls in this mill, and we we agreed with it that we were going to do an exhibition in the first hall. And here we've got some pictures. That's, there yeah. we go. There's some there. And um, yeah, we had right. quite a big idea because it, it was big, wasn't it? A big area. Oh yeah. And we rolled in. We got Farnells involved. They brought a mini metro. We put a car alarm on it. Yeah, and yeah. Locks, locks and all, and all sorts, sorts of things. The West Yorkshire Security <laughs> Exhibition. That's right. And we had a guy who did jardin. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we had, a, we had a picture of him somewhere. Well, I tell you, I tell you what, what I can remember distinctly about this. We 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 were planning it and we were talking about it and we went to with so-called Andy, who were ex forces, a bit of a lunatic, and we went to the dog and gunner at the bridge to have a chat about it. Oh, that's right, yeah. And up on the telly came um, this business with these Argentine for uh, the uh, <laughs> And it were, they were the starting uh, of the Falklands. Yeah, yeah. And Andy had just flown back because he was a been in and been, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All that, that's oh, dear, amazing. Dear. Yeah, he was to sleep in a hammock. There. There. He did. In the mill. He did. I um, and, um, of course, this is the famous uh, site of the poster that I did. Ah, yes. Yeah. It was up for a week. Yeah, and, no, then, the, and then somebody noticed it. The, the, this old chap who read it, after it being there for seven days, said, um, we thought, I thought I'd written that a window's always open to a burglar unless it's locked. And then he said, why does having a bugle <laughs> a window like, get you through a window a window is always open to a bugle that's right well, it's lot. Lot. absolutely yeah. I, to be honest my proofreading's not come on a right lot so no, does it no. the design might have spell check <laughs> <laughs>